Good evening, everyone. Ashley Bornanson with the Red Carpet Report. Tonight we are in Beverly Hills, where NYU's Tisch School of the Arts is honoring the legendary Oliver Stone at the West Coast Benefit Gala. Nice yeah. to meet you. You look very nice. This oh, suit is you. very sleek. It's uh, Vivian Westwood. Oh, nice. He knows his style, too. <laughs> so, Tish is being honored tonight along with Oliver Stone, and you also went to Tish. Yeah. What from Tish do you still use today? Well, I mean, one thing I really use is my the technique that I learned there. You know, every time I have an audition or every time, you know, I have to understand a story, you know, the ability to look at a script and, and really get down to the details and the themes and the universal truths I learned here. And, being able to talk in this dialogue about film and cinema in a way of you know my love and passion for it and connect with other people's love and passion is really what I think Tish you know was able to not only give me but give a lot of the other students. A lot of people go to film school, go to theater, major in theater, yeah. and come out here and have a, have a hard time. It seems like Tish students are a little bit a step ahead. What do you think makes it so different? Well. This business is really tough, and even even me, I still have a lot of trouble. And you know, once you get to the next level, you still have the next level of problems. Okay. But you know, the thing that I've learned that really sets Tish apart is that it really makes people. It really made me focus on my insides and really focus on what made me, you know, unique. And I think Tish really takes the time to find in every student what's unique about them. And once they can find that, it's a lot easier when they get out of here to you know, funnel that into auditions, funnel that into, you know, jobs that they want to get, whether they want to work behind the camera or work, you know, be an agent or a director or whatever it is. So it really gives you a, a chance to hone in to, you know, what, what your unique passion is. What was the hardest part for you coming out here and acting? Because you're already in an HBO film. That's a, that's a huge accomplishment. Thank you. And you, you look very young. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm only... Uh, uh, my, my manager tells me I'm only 25. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say you were older than 25, to be honest. So uh, not, not much, a year or two. Um, you know, I think for me was, uh, I think it also has a lot to do with the individual. Like, I'm someone who doesn't give up. Like, I used to be 260 pounds, you know, yeah. I, was, I bet everyone's like, dang! <laughs> I used to be the Chris Farley type. I mean, I still love, you know, making jokes and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, for me, I think it was just, I, I, I don't give up. I'm persistent. I will never give up. And I think really cultivating that kind of drive is what sets you apart from other people because, you know, sometimes you get rejected. I mean, I've gotten rejected a lot, but, you know, the time that it counted when I got to meet David Mamet and I got to do a scene for him, you know, because of that mo that momentum of meeting him and putting my soul and my heart into that, you know, into my craft, into that moment, like, he was like, hey, I want to write you something for this movie I'm doing. Would you like to do it? I'm like, yeah, of course, inside, I'm like, yeah, I'd love to. Don't. Yeah. I was going to ask you, the Phil, Spectre yeah. is the movie, your name's Phil. Yeah. It was written for you, specifically? Uh, I think it was written for Al Pacino, but <laughs> I'll take... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take a compliment in the sense that I'm sure the Phils had David Mamet in mind when he was thinking of me. Is this movie out yet? Is it coming out? Yeah, it came out March uh, 24th this year. We got, we were lucky enough that we got nominated for uh, about 10 or 11 Emmy Awards, uh, but we didn't win any, Behind the Candelabra won like 11 or 10, so, you know. That's okay. What other projects do you have coming up this year? Uh, well, I was in, I was on TNT's Perception. And besides that, I'm just auditioning, working on a new script, and uh, you know, trying to take that to Sundance. Nice, a script that you're writing. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Does it all? Any tips for writers out there? Um, well, my 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 tip for writers: write what you know. So it's pretty much writing what I know. So what what are you writing right now for Sundance? It's a uh, it's a coming of age story. Okay. It's pretty much about a. Um, you know, a former, a former, a former fat kid of child abuse who tries to find himself through, you know, college, drugs, alcohol, women, um, the Albanian mafia, and really finds himself in the la He ends up hitting bottom, and as he hits bottom, he finds his, himself in the last place that he would ever think of, which is, uh, you know, spirituality. That's amazing. Yeah. 
Well, congrats on everything. Thank so you. nice to meet you. Thank Thanks for watching the Red Carpet Report. If you like this video, be sure to like it. For more interviews, subscribe. And leave me a comment below telling me what's your favorite Oliver Stone movie. The show's starting, so that's my cue.